For many, political debates seem endless in Denmark. Leaders of the 12 parties that will be represented in the parliament discuss their next step. But it's the leader of the Social Democrats, Mette Frederiksen, who will have the upper hand. Her party came first in general elections and along with its so-called Red Bloc, an alliance of centre-left parties, have enough seats needed to form a government. We have said from the beginning of, of uh, this election campaign that we will try to uh, have a new government uh, in Denmark represented by uh, different political parties and that is what we will try to find a solution on. But Frederiksen is determined not to cave in to pressure from smaller parties in her upcoming coalition. The man who could save her is her arch-rival Lars Luka Rasmussen, leader of the centrist Moderates Party. But Rasmussen is yet to decide his move. It's not about Mette Frederiksen or, or not. It, it's about the political content. Um, and if she is the prime minister, that will be basically OK for us if the political platform is sufficient. The Conservatives and the Liberals suffered major losses on Tuesday, but the far right is surging in popularity. Pernilla Vermund, leader of the New Right, says she is determined to defend the country's generous welfare programme but only if the government takes a tougher stance on immigrants. We have a system that is very uh, generous to people who come here, and we have to change that system so that it's not, uh, so that people don't come here because we have the system. For now, many Danes remain worried their divided political landscape could lead to prolonged negotiations to form a government. They say urgent actions must be taken. I, I think uh, I support the idea of having a, a government which covers the middle of the political spectrum. I think that's a pretty good idea. The election night was dramatic. It kept the entire nation in suspense. Exit polls initially suggested the country would have its most fragmented parliament ever. But then later at night, Mette Frederiksen walked towards her supporters and thanked the voters for delivering a last-minute victory that helped save her future for now. This is an extraordinary moment in Danish politics. The Social Democrats' leader, Meta Frederiksen, faces a tough choice. She can stick to the same coalition she had in 2019, knowing well its future will always be fragile. Or she can ask the moderates to join her government, knowing well they will want to have a bigger say in running the country. Hashim Habal Al Jazeera, Copenhagen.